Hi, so today we are going to discuss about volumetric based ultrafiltration control in our hemodialysis machine. Ultrafiltration is the process of removing fluid from the patient in a controlled fashion during which volume of ultrafiltration is accurately measured. Most of our dialysis machines use volumetric based ultrafiltration control which uses a balancing chamber composed of two compartments separated by a flexible membrane. It is not a semi-permeable membrane, it is just a flexible membrane. So in this, one side of the membrane allows fresh dialysate in, while the other allows used dialysate out. Valves are connected on the inlet and outlet of the chambers. This allows fluid to enter one side of the chamber which pushes an equal amount of fluid out of the other side of the chamber. One chamber fills with used dialysate and pushes fresh dialysate to the dialyzer. The other chamber is filled with fresh dialysate and pushes used dialysate to the drain. One pump moves proportioned dialysis to the balancing chambers a second pump pulls dialysate from the dialyzer and pushes into the balancing chamber. Ultrafiltration pump. The UF pump or fluid removal pump removes fluid from the closed loop which result in fluid removal from the dialyzer membrane. Most UF pumps are piston type and placed in a used dialysate flow path by a negative pressure. When the UF pump is off, there is no pressure gradient between the blood and dialysate and no fluid removal from the patient. Flow control of ultrafiltration has flow sensor on the inlet and outlet side of the dialyzer that allows control of dialysate flow. A post dialyzer UF pump removes fluid at the UF rate calculated by the dialysis machine. Let me explain this diagram. So dialyzer, we have inflow and outflow. As we discussed, these have two sensors, inflow sensor and outflow sensors. And this is analyzed by a transmembrane pressure in between the dialyzer membrane and blood. And this outflow sensor is some total of dialysate and ultrafiltration that will control by ultrafiltration pump. So it will have some effect in transmembrane pressure as well. So ultrafiltration pump is off, transmembrane pressure will be differ and there is no net ultrafiltration. Let me explain this diagram. We have two types of valve, the white one and the black one. White one is open and black one is closed. As we discussed earlier, volumetric based ultrafiltration control have two balancing chambers composed of two compartments separated by a flexible membrane and we have a dialyzer inlet and outlet and drain system as well valves are connected in the inlet and outlet of the chamber the fresh dialysate can go either this way or that way black valve is closed so it will go through a white open wall into this chamber and that the outlet of this chamber is closed because it's black wall so that the fresh dialysis to keep on come and gives exerted a pressure towards the used black dialysate black one so in this black chambers is used dialysate this black dialysate this black wall is closed so it will go through a wide open one into a drain system same way used dialysate will go this way along with this way and same this they have two options either this direction or that direction but black wall is closed so it can't go that direction so that will enter through a white open one into the chamber here the black is is used dialysate that will exert a pressure into fresh dialysate white 
same like brush dialyzer black valve is closed so it will go into this direction towards the dialyzer inlet so this is how it's happened the next moment all the closed valve will open and open one will close so this flow will changes but always dialyzer will get fresh dialyzer and drain used dialyzer as well so i hope you understand this now what you want to do is you can draw this diagram and try to explain yourself once you get the concept redraw the same diagram with open white while replace with the black closed one and vice versa so once you get the concept okay we can go inside our dialysis machine so this is how it look like a dialysis machine inside so as we discuss volumetric based ultrafiltration control have two balancing chambers with separated by a flexible membrane and inlet and outlet see this inlet is for inlet and outlet and controlled by a solenoid valves so it's like a black and white valves right so it's regulated by the solenoid valves so this is how it's look like see and these are all is regulated by motors inlet outlet so now we'll see what is inside this chambers so it's secured by a lot of screws we can unscrew this all and we'll see what is inside so it should be secured because like it's going uh, in the like dialyzed fresh dialyzed and use dialyzed right so it can't leak so it should be a uh, well secured so we'll see how it's look like inside so we are trying to remove each screws we'll get it now we removed all the screws now we can open these chambers yes now we can we yeah. are this is how it's look like so two chambers one is that this is one chamber look at this yeah this is one chamber and this is our flexible membrane it is not semi permeable membrane it's only flexible membrane it won't allow any dialysis in and out it's only flexible membrane see this is flexible membrane how it's look like see yeah and this is two chambers one is fresh dialysis and that is used dialysis fresh one and used one see the different colors and this is flexible membrane so these all are will help the volumetric controlled ultrafiltration these valves regulated by motors is opening and closing valves solenoid valves see solenoid valves inlet and outlet controlled by solenoid valves see how uh, it's open one will close and close one will open yeah these chambers and flexible membranes how it's look like hope you all understood what is inside our balancing chambers controlled by volumetric control ultrafiltration this is how simple it is Thank you for watching, stay tuned, more points we'll discuss on next episode.